would all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance and stay standing for the invocation. Someone asked me today, did I know that 12 million dum-dums were made every day? I didn't quite know how to take that. <laughs> so I replied, is that all? <laughs> but maybe you're having a sweet day and that's a good thing. Maybe this is a sour time and I'm sorry, but we can always pray. So let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for your presence here and I thank you for these leaders that have gathered and these citizens who have come and servants of the city. We pray, Lord, that you would strengthen them with wisdom and I pray for those who are suffering, hurting, sad and lonely. May they know that we are one family and that you are our Father. So be with us, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Present. Councilman Blavin. Here. Councilman Schlack. Present. Councilman Valerius. Here. Councilman Lloyd. Here. Pro Tem Lolly. Yes. And Mayor McLeod. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you. I have a motion to approve tonight's agenda. Motion, Mayor. Motion by Mr. Schlack. Support. Supported by Mr. Blavins. Any corrections, changes? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. We have a motion to approve the minutes for the regular meeting of January 11. Motion by Mr. Lally. Second. Second by Mr. Valerius. Any corrections or changes? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? It has carried. We get on to organizational business. This evening, um, I am very happy to appoint uh, Mr. Nelson Zacchetto to the Housing Commission to fill a vacancy that's created by the resignation of one of our long-term commissioners there, who I understand is uh, going to be retiring and wants to do a little traveling. So um, Mr. Zacchetto indicated that this was one of uh, his areas of interest and has agreed to serve out the remainder of her term, uh, and that term will expire on December 31st. So if you would please come up to be sworn in. And can I have a motion to approve? I'll make a motion. A motion by Mr. Support. Lally, supported by Mr. Schlack. Any questions, comments? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. All right. <clears throat> First of all, it's an honor, Mr. Zucchetto. Thank you, Mike. I'm not going to make you repeat after me, just at the end, say I swear, I do, or I affirm, whatever you feel most comfortable with. And um, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you'll support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Michigan, and that you will endeavor to secure and maintain an honest and efficient administration of the affairs of the city of Allen Park, free from partisan distinction, or control and that you will perform the duties of housing commissioner to the best of your ability, so help you God. I do. Okay, congratulations. Hey. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, Mayor, Council. I'm gonna have you sign this, then you're gonna have to take this to Andy to make a copy. He has to submit it to HUD. Okay. Okay, you've probably got the most classes out of any commissioner, so good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't have picked a better person. <laughs> Thank you again. Very much appreciated. Now we have the city administrator's report. Good evening, Mayor and Council, the residents of Allen Park. I was just talking to the, to, uh, the mayor earlier this evening. We were talking about uh, Pastor Basio and uh, always has a great story to, to before the invocation. And uh, I want to add a little bit to that as uh, 
Uh, my son was probably about 78 years old. We went down to the Dum Dum Candy Factory huh. in Bryan, Ohio, <laughs> and where they it's Spangler Candy Factory where they make the Dum Dum suckers. So, it's uh, it is a real place. They do a little tour. Um, if you're you know they get the hot bags, they're still warm uh, suckers you can have. Them. Or they also make uh, one of my favorite circus peanuts. I know they're not good for you, but I love them anyways. <laughs> So uh, there, we had a little bit of excitement uh, last Tuesday morning, uh, 994, and uh, a little baby boy decided to come a little bit quicker uh, than uh, dad could drive to the hospital. And uh, MSP, Michigan State Police, and our Allen Park Fire Department helped uh, to deliver that baby boy and get, get him safely to the hospital. Uh, apparently, uh, as we now know, mom, dad, baby are all doing well. Um, I can't imagine being on the side of the freeway trying to deliver a baby, but uh, uh, our, our, our team has been there before. Um, I talked to Chief Can. Apparently, they get to add another stork to the ambulance. And um, uh, what, a, what a great event that is. Also, some great news. Allen Park Meyer donated $5,000 to Families Against Narcotics, and that will be used to support the Allen Park uh, Police Department's Comeback Quick Overdose Team. So we want to really uh, uh, say a big thank you to uh, Meyer and their uh, community involvement here in Allen Park. We do greatly appreciate that. Continuing on some great news, I, 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 after I looked at it, I think I touched on almost every department, which I was, I was very happy about doing this. We try to pass the kudos out today. Uh, the library received an MI83 TL, TLC mini grant uh, from the library network, and they were able to acquire um, an outdoor kit, which I don't, I didn't have all the details on what that included, um, but it also, but they did also get a green screen and a camera, so they'll be able to do some of their own programming now, um, with uh, being able to put graphics behind them with the green screen. So it's a, a nice a little mini grant that they received. Uh, Brandy and Sandy have been doing a great job over there for us. Uh, Ice Arena, uh, Rob, Pat, and the team, they've been busy uh, this past uh, weekend for the holiday, uh, Martin Luther King holiday tournaments for hockey. Um, they uh, were extremely busy with the, I know based on the deposit, they were very busy. And they anticipate being uh, busy once again for a very similar weekend with hockey tournaments uh, come the President's Day weekend in February. So uh, if you're looking for some uh, opportunity to go watch some good high school or high school age, I guess it's really not high school age, is it? All age. It's youth. Youth hockey. Yeah, so it's great youth hockey going on over there at the Allen Park uh, Ice Arena, and see the see the, maybe the future stars on the of the NHL playing today. So uh, last week, uh, Matt Baker, Tom Murray, and I uh, met with a K and S Mechanical Services. They're a local HVAC contractor. They're actually located here at uh, um, Philomene, um, and just on the west side of uh, Roosevelt, at the back by the railroad tracks behind the uh, Superior Ambulance. And uh, the gentleman is also an Allen Park resident. Uh, so we talked to him about what we would need to create an HVAC maintenance contract RFP. So he's going to be helping us out to get the, the data that we need to get there to, to that point. Starting out by visiting each of our buildings and they'll take an inventory, looking at the uh, what type of equipment we have, serial numbers, and then also uh, other pertinent information that we can put into the RFP packet and then be, be able to send that out to uh, get quotes. Some great news. Long time in coming. Amanda... I, I was off on, on this date, but I could hear Amanda cheering loudly as the uh, closing of the uh, four acre parcel, the DPS, uh, old four acre, uh, old DPS facility uh, on Southfield closed finally. Um, I know the council did approve for the mayor and clerk to be able to sign for that. It did go through on the 14th, and then there was a deposit made of $6,665. Yeah, $6, <laughs> um, I, I we were talking a little bit before the meeting as well, and uh, the initial um, offer on that property was $630,000. Um, the roadway became an issue, if you recall. Council approved improving that roadway. I think we spent just short of $50,000. Uh, the new offer came in at seven fifteen. dollars and so basically fixing that road probably netted us an additional $25,000, so well worth the investment on that. It just took a long time. I think uh, Amanda told me nine months, um, but she, I, it's, it's gone, it's done, we're good, moved on. I was able to erase it off my dry erase board, which made me very happy, and uh, another another thing that we can do close on and move on, move on to the next project. And then finally, uh, at the last meeting, I mentioned that Roosevelt Avenue may be closing here at Southfield Road for a uh, project with DT. That is on hold right now. Uh, the contractor, Corby Engineering, has to, or Corby Energy Services has to submit additional paperwork to MDOT. And uh, once they do that, they'll get approval, and then we'll be able to, to put that notification out to the public that that's going to close. And uh, 
we'll try to get that out as quickly as we can. Is it will definitely make a. Uh, um, I think we're going to realize how many people we really use Roosevelt on a regular basis. So I know, and I know the chief and deputy chief have already been taking that consideration for how they need to uh, leave the station to get to I-94 in Southfield and so forth. So that is everything I have. Uh, any questions on anything or anything I might have missed? Uh, very, very. It was all good news. I, I like, I like having good news for you. So anyone have any? I, you know, <laughs> with, with this with the amount of, of, of headaches we've had with that, I thought six 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 was probably appropriate for the first three numbers. I was just glad it didn't end in, in the additional six six six. So, does anyone else have any questions or comments? If not, may I have a motion to accept and file the report? Motion by Mr. Lally, supported support. by Mr. Markles. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. Aye. Very much. I think the only thing that we forgot to mention was that the, the departments are all going to be developing their budgets for the coming fiscal year, and we do have a timeline on that. Um, and at some point in May, there will be a public hearing on the, on the budget. So, uh, and all of these will will be posted. Moving on, uh, we come to the public comments section of tonight's meeting and if anyone would like to come up and speak please do so all we ask is that you give your name and the street on which you live do not provide us with the address and the only other thing we ask is that you uh, be nice <laughs> I'll try to get Marky to give you extra credit if you do yeah. sit down both Since no one's coming up, we will close the public comment section and move on to the consent agenda. Tonight's consent agenda consists of purchasing actions, claims, and accounts in the payroll report, and a license and permit for a handbill flyer for Rene Linares, fast flyers. Um, may I have a motion? Motion. motion. Supported. I had a motion from Mr. Blevins, I believe. Support. Supported by Mr. Lloyd. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Thank you very much. We move on to resolutions. The first one being a resolution for mayor and council to ratify and approve the city administrator's action regarding the emergency purchase and installation of a 100 gallon hot water tank within the community center. I'll make the motion. Motion by Mr. Lally. Support it. Supported by Mr. Marcos. Good evening, Mayor Council again. Um, I know there was a memo in there. just want to go quickly uh, give a high level uh, what, what was going on here is the two water tanks, hot water tanks. One was out. They've been able to uh, uh, work with a plumber to get the second one uh, operational using some uh, parts off the original one. Um, the, although this was uh, just happened last week, uh, again, it's the same thing we mentioned a, a couple times. It's a matter of trying to get these orders in as quickly as possible because there is such a timeline. Uh, a, a lag to get everything ordered six to eight weeks as, and we're, we're hoping that uh, maybe one of the contractors that we're working with ASP can actually find one I know uh, Pat was informing he was looking to find if one if available sooner than six to eight weeks obviously um, as we talked in the back and in, in the pre-meeting um, this will come out of the this year's budget and then uh, I think the plan would be to include in the 22 23 budget to replace the the second one um, but we're just replacing one at this time. Any questions? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Next resolution is to purchase two 2022 Ford Police Interceptor Utility Explorers patrol vehicles. Motion, uh, Mayor. Motion by Mr. Schlack. Second. Second by Mr. Valerius. Anybody want to come up and briefly? Good evening, Mayor and Council. Uh, this is part of our budget process, trying to replace our patrol cars. Um, our fleet is kind of depleted and ran up in miles, so uh, we purchased two and 20 for last year's budget, so we're trying to continue that so we can get them in circulation and keep our miles down per contract. So we're asking for two patrol cars and uh, two other explorers for other department needs. 
Does anyone have any questions or comments? Not all in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion has carried. Thank you. Thank you. The next resolution we have is to authorize the City of Allen Park to participate in the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services Low Income Household Water Assistance Program. I have a motion. Motion. Motion by Mr. Valerius. Seconded by Mr. Marcos. This is a program that coming from the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services that's part of their uh, COVID fund, uh, funding, uh, trying to make sure that uh, those that are uh, of low income would have funding to get their water e either restored or, or their arrearage is paid up. Um, I'm asking for approval to participate in this program. Um, it, we're familiar, not with, we're not familiar with this program, I said this is a new one, but we're familiar with a similar program, uh, the RAP program, uh, which is administered by Wayne Metro and Wayne Metro will be administering this low-income uh, housing, low-income household water assistance program as well. Um, the way that the the, the LIHAP uh, program works is that they'll get, uh, an, a qualified uh, household would receive up to $650 and possibly an additional $350 for a total of $1,000 that would be used towards their uh, arrearage and, or if they've been shut off. We don't shut off, so mostly it's gonna be arrearage and then they would be brought up, could be brought up to close to being uh, with, with to their balance of being zero. If that's not the case, they may also participate in the RAT program, which could come back in with additional funding to help get them even additional monies towards those uh, aspects. And then that has a program where it's additional $25 per month towards their water bill. Um, I think they can actually get up to another $1,000 plus $1,000 in repairs to help stop any leaks and anything like that. So I'm asking the, the city council to consider participating in these programs. I think it'd be worthwhile to at least offer to the residents. I'm not too sure who would qualify for this one. We do have 16 or 12 residents. I'm sorry, we currently have, that is a bad typo on my part, man <laughs> oh man. Who is not proofreading that on Friday after Friday morning, I don't know. We actually have 16 residents that are in the RAP program right now. And uh, so that's, uh, at least 16 people getting the benefit of that program, which I'm very happy to see. Um, just a side disclosure, I do serve on the board of directors for the Wayne Metro Community Action Agency. Um, so we do, that uh, board does ultimately oversee that program. I just wanna be right up front. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, thank you very much, that is carried. And now we come to council comments section, and this evening, um, Mr. Lloyd starts. Um, so, I, I, not, not much this evening. Um, I think that uh, it is something I got kind of a, uh, a text message out of the blue. Um, I was talk, telling the mayor about this, about um, the Allen Park Theater. Um, apparently that, that made a, um, an appearance on, on Facebook. And uh, a couple thoughts on it. Um, one, I think that it emphasizes something that um, Councilman Marcos has um, made a very big point every time he's got up here and talked is, is the importance of taking part in, in these meetings. And, and not only so that you're, the, the public is informed, and I, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here because the people that are hearing are the people that are involved, but also because we, we very much depend on your input. And so I'm, I'm really speaking to this crowd of procrastinators that I have here too that, that came. All right, this is your city. All right, um, and, and this may seem like um, not all this stuff maybe is pertinent or, or interesting to you, but, but whether you know it or not, this stuff impacts your life, and occasionally you guys come to one of these meetings, and it might be something that is going to have an impact on how you live your life, all right? And I don't, I don't, know, I don't know what it's like to be Ryan Blanton, all right, or Blake Jimenez, okay? So I don't, I don't know your experience, okay? So... I can't, I can't represent you unless you guys, unless you tell me, okay, what, is, what are the things that are going on in your world? What are the things that are impacting you? How is this going to change your life, all right? Um, and so I, I ask you guys to go out and to evangelize, okay, or come back maybe when it's not for um, uh, a class credit, all right? Um, or, or maybe even if, if you just see somebody up here or you see them on the street, um, stop to them and talk to them what's going on in the city. Um, because I'm sure that every single person that you see up here um, will, will stop to you and, and they'll, they'll explain what they see going on. But, but take an interest, okay, because 
Um, it's, it's exciting and it, it's, it might be fun to, to, to look and to argue about what's going on in Washington, D.C., but those aren't the things that are really impacting our lives, all right? The things that are really changing your lives are happening in this room and they're happening on the second and fourth Tuesday of the month, all right? Um, so uh, it, it is good to see you guys. I would encourage you to um, share that message, all right, um, and, and, and get involved uh, because we, we can only... Um, represents you to the best of our, our knowledge and our ability, and, and that only goes so far. So thank you, everybody, and have a good night. Thank you. <clears throat> Next is um, Hilarious. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks, everyone, for coming out. Uh, I wanted to address the students in the audience as well uh, as a fellow teacher. Uh, I know all of you have final exams coming up, and uh, I know it's a pretty stressful time. Uh, I myself have been trying to prepare my students, working with them uh, the last couple of weeks to get them ready for finals. Uh, I just wish that the best for you, you know, study, try your very best, and uh, uh, hope the best for your final exams. So uh, I also want to take a moment to offer congrats to my fellow councilman, Dan Lloyd. Uh, I did notice on social media that you were honored at the Alan Bart Jags uh, oh. teacher uh, honoring teachers uh, for their influence they have on students and uh, I just wanted to uh, mention that uh, it's a it's quite the job that we have and it's nice uh, to just be recognized uh, every now and then uh, by, te by students those the students that we teach and uh, uh, even in something uh, small like that just a recognition so I just wanted to offer that up uh, just wanted to, again, thank everyone for coming out. I uh, appreciate your time. And piggyback off what uh, my fellow councilman said, uh, you know, I read social media. I try not to get involved too much in it. But uh, if I make a comment, it usually is that we are here on the second and fourth Tuesday of every month and that you have a public comment section where you are free to come up and speak your mind and ask questions and voice your thoughts and opinions on any issues that, face, that, that are facing the city. Uh, so it's not like it's a closed forum where we are doing behind the scenes stuff and keeping secrets and hiding things, uh, you know, which is sometimes implied. Uh, so again, we, we appreciate people coming out. We want to see you here. We want the opportunity to listen to you talk. Uh, it is your city as well as it is ours. So, and with that, I yield my time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Next, uh, Councilman Schlack. I'll be quick and just say thank you for all coming and uh, not to be completely repeat what my colleagues have <laughs> said, but we're here. We're here to listen. We have email addresses if that's your avenue. We have phone numbers. Uh, you can call us. And if even if you knocked on my door, I wouldn't even mind that. So please reach out to us. This is your city, as uh, Mr. Polaris said so eloquently. So other than that, I'll mention that it's we've been hit by the winter bug that, again, Mr. Polaris loves more than anyone else on this council. Bring it. <laughs> exactly. I even question why he didn't uh, go and use a super plow a little more. But with that being said, if you see a neighbor struggling or need help there or you have a little salt to spare that maybe a neighbor might not have, please share. I mean, it's, uh, sharing is caring. So especially in this weather, that uh, that can be quite hard on most of our community, <coughs> some of our community. So with that, I yield my time, and I'll see you all in February. Uh, hopefully the groundhog will tell us no more snow. Thank you, Gary. <clears throat> Councilman Blevins. Uh, first off, thank you for all coming. Um, as always, without you guys speaking to us, your voice means a lot. And a lot of been like uh, Councilman Valerio said that yeah, I, I, on social media, I've read comments over and over about the dollar show and all that stuff. I remember going in there with uh, Councilman Lloyd and Councilman Tony Lally with um, just seeing what could be done and all that stuff, running up the, to the projector and heels and all that stuff. And it, it's just, it, it, there's, it's it's one of those things where, um, again, it, if you come to us, hear the ideas and stuff like that, but it all de depends on the developer and all that stuff, who brings money and all that stuff. And, um, it, it's a sentimental thing. I always think of it as when Detroit 
demolished the Tiger Stadium. It, it's one of those things where you have memories, first date, first kiss, all, it's just all, it, all those things. Um, it, it, it is a sentimental thing. It is the heart of Allen Park. So I understand how it, it, it will be sad with it being demolished and all that stuff. Um, but again, you just got to think, be optimistic. It might become something better and all that stuff. Who knows? Um, the, um, but I, with that, uh, just please keep come, please come and speak to us at our council meetings. Um, uh, your voice does matter. Um, come 5.30, we, ha we have our work session meetings before the meetings and stuff where we talk about our agendas. Um, some other things that happened last few weeks, uh, the Glass Onion just, uh, just hit six years. So please keep supporting local businesses so they can keep staying here in, in downtown Allen Park. Um, also, um, uh, great job to our fire department with the delivering the baby boy. I can only imagine in the cold temps on I-94 and stuff and how fast pe people drive down there and stuff. So good job to them. Um, also, uh, lastly, um, we did lose a long resident in Allen Park, Jerry, the mailman, um, Dem Demeter. Demeter. Um, he uh, has been a local... Uh, postal worker for 40 years, uh, usually on the E-Course Road route and stuff, and their family members knew how much I, how I wear the bow ties, and this is one of his bow ties that he wore. So for um, all respect for him and his service, that's why I'm wearing it today, and my condolences goes to his family and friends and everyone in Allen Park that knew him. Um, but again, like always, stay optimistic. God bless and... Have a good night, and I yield. Thank you, Charles. Councilman Marcos. Hi. Um, first, I want to offer my condolences. Um, the city lost a uh, business owner operator last month, and I just found out about it recently. Uh, uh, Anthony DiGiulio of My Look Barber Salon on Elm Road by Champagne there. Passed away just three days before Christmas. So my condolences to his family. His uncle, uh, you may know, was a city council member for for eight years, so it's uh, a big part of the Allen Park family. So condolences to the family. Um, also, I wanted to thank the water department. Um, Saturday night, last Saturday night, it was cold, it was nasty. Uh, I came home about 5.30, and I had, was in a lake. The whole street was flooded. Um, the water department guys were there within a half an hour. Uh, water main break, obviously. The salt trucks were out salting the streets so they wouldn't freeze over. They had the thing up, uh, water off, up, back and running by 11 o'clock, um, probably before that. That's, uh, it was amazing how fast they were and how good they are. Uh, so thank you guys. Appreciate the hard work you guys do. Uh, and also, yeah. Nelson, thank you very much for taking on the commission position. Really appreciate it. Um, thank you. And I will be redundant. I will say it again. <laughs> Please come to the meetings. Please, we need input. Repeat what everybody said. I say it every week. Keep, please come. We need your input. We need your participation. Everybody's here because they want to participate. We need your help too. So please come to the meetings. Thank you. You know, I know it's nice to be the last one in here. I don't have to say much of anything, but whatever they said, I repeated the same way as they said it. You know? And, I, you know, just like today when we had public comment, I don't know, get up here. Do say, say, who are you? What's your name? What do you do? Where do you live? You know, stuff like that. Get to know what's going on in the city and uh, what the department, uh, the water department, police department, you name it. They've got all kinds of them. It's for, for you guys, for you. One of these days, you'll probably be up here, and you probably want to tell those guys to come and, and, and do the same thing. We really mean when we say come to the meeting. It's more excitement. It gets your blood circulating. That's what we need. You know, we, we don't have that much. Really? <laughs> and uh, and uh, I want to congratulate Mr. Zucchero, Zucchero, right? Zucchero. Uh, no, Zucchero. 
I say it in Italian. I'm sorry. I don't know. Congratulations and thank you for joining the, the, the commission. And uh, I want to uh, thank uh, the councilman Dan for his uh, promote whatever they did for you at the school. You deserve it. And uh, I thank you for the Ellen Park Myers for five thousand dollars donation. That's beautiful. And Amanda, God bless her, man. We sold that building. <laughs> we sold that place over there. Beautiful. Lots of money. Now we can't say we don't have any now. Huh? <laughs> I think it's Sorry, all right. Right. Money, it's still, it's still we need a lot of money yet. And uh, like everybody else said today, come to the meetings. Come and talk to us. And like uh, uh, Mr. Marcos, uh, the Councilman Marcos, Danny, all the, all the council people over here, they, they, they want you guys to come here. They want you asking questions. Because all the department people over here, and the mayor, and all the council people over here, we, we want to know what's going on. I want to thank you, and good night, and God bless you. Thank you. Mike, you have anything? Thank you all for coming out. God bless you, and good night. OK. Um, I'll move on to a few things here. I won't repeat. I, I did see the passing of a number of people. In fact, I was quite surprised to see uh, the one on Anthony. It was uh, very startling. Um, and the uh, mailman, who I have seen countless times uh, walking throughout the city, not as a mailman, but just walking throughout the city, and um, that's rather sad. And I uh, actually, um, uh, I lost a neighbor uh, last week. Unfortunately, uh, uh, COVID was a factor, um, um, and it's just uh, sorry to see some of this continuing. But on a brighter note, um, I want to comment that uh, we've probably all seen this on, on Facebook, which sometimes I pay attention to and sometimes not. <laughs> um, but uh, Cecile Harris, one of our residents, is going to turn 100 on January 31st. And we have had a number of individuals uh, in the city who have reached that mark and beyond. And just so you are all aware, and my council members, I do send a letter to these individuals on behalf of myself and the council wishing them congratulations. We have three more individuals who will be hitting that mark and beyond uh, later on this year uh, who reside at Maple Heights, which must be a good place to go <laughs> if you want to become 100 or more, <laughs> so I, that's to be highly recommended. Um, again, uh, seeing our fire department uh, involved with the uh, delivery, and I think I commented last meeting that I had heard from another resident about how uh, excellent their service had been for him uh, several times uh, in, in the recent months when he had some crises. He could not say enough about them, and, um, and also uh, my neighbor's wife had mentioned um, the service that they had received. So again, thank you on that. Um, our library um, has been receiving kudos, uh, well-deserved. Um, we had gotten an email about one of their employees who had gone far beyond uh, normal duty to, to assist someone, and, and they very kindly uh, communicated um, their thanks for that service. Um, the um, the uh, theater, um, which has popped up again, is kind of interesting because uh, that all transpired in 2019, and here we are in 2022, but sometimes these things resurface. And I do agree with the council members. Uh, we want people mainly to pay attention whether or not you attend the meeting, and I know that there's council people up here who may not have attended every meeting, but they view them, they watch them. Um, the material for each of these meetings, the agendas, and, and the entire packet, claims and accounts, everything you'd ever want to see about the city is on the city's website. The clerk puts it on the city's website, it is there prior to these meetings. So even if you don't get a chance to come, all that information is out there. Um, so please, if you do nothing else, uh, if you don't want to come out of your houses when it's nine degrees, um, at least go to the city website and take a look at what's going on. Um, and you will find true factual data on the city's website. And I encourage you to do that. And I think that's what my council members are also encouraging you to do. Um, if you want to get the actual information,
come straight to the source. Um, with that being said, I think that I am finished for this evening. Everyone else covered it. Congratulations to uh, Dan. Um, I cannot tell you um, how much respect I have for everyone in education and especially the two gentlemen to my left. So with that, I have a motion. <laughs> That's a good joke. Every once in a while. <laughs> We're going to take this on the road next uh, month. <laughs> with that, may I have a motion to adjourn? Support. Motion by Mr. Lally, supported by Mr. Blevins. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed. We are adjourned at 637. Thank you oh, all and stay warm and safe. Yeah.